Okay, let's begin. Last time we learned about the dot product. If two vectors, u and v are given, u1, u2, u3, and v, v1, v2, v3 are given, then the dot product between two vectors is u1, v1, plus u2, v2, plus u3, v3. So that product, if you put two vectors with the same size, two vectors, then the result is a scalar value. If you put two vectors, then we get scalar value from that product. However, today we're the cross product that we want to study today. If we put two vectors, then we got other vectors. The question is, uh, we assume that there are two vectors are here, V and U are here. So we want to calculate which vector is perpendicular to both U and V. So we want to find this vector, W. So the goal of this section is find vector W, which satisfies W is also similar to v, uh, U and both V. <clears throat> okay. Uh, here, the cross product of two vectors, U and V. We again, I again draw two vectors, U and V. Then we define the vector u cross v, which says like the direction is determined by the right hand rule. That means we uh, from except thumb, we make this uh, this form. Then the thumb. Term direction is the upper side. So from the direction of U and V, and here the if the angle is uh, less than pi, actually we can also draw the angle. Here is two pi minus theta, but we only use the smaller one. Smaller one. We only use smaller angle to use the right hand rule. So from the direction of U and V, we can determine the <clears throat> direction of U cross V. And since vector has two components, uh, two components, that means vector has the direction and also vector has the length. The length is defined by uh, magnitude is equal to the area of the parallelogram determined by u and v that means the length is equal to the area of this parallelogram okay now let me explain more precisely uh, here n is the unit vector given by the right hand rule that means here u and v are given like this direction then since this angle is defined as this direction we use our right hand to determine the direction of the vector u cross v and the area of the parallelogram determined by u and v can be given by uh, this. Uh, if you assume the angle between vector two vectors u and v is theta, then the height of this parallelogram is the length of vector v times sine theta, because the definition of sine is uh, this over this. Okay, so the area is 
the strength of vector u times h, and this is ranks of u, ranks of v times sine theta. So the magnitude of vector u cross v can be written by this form. Since vector n is unit vector, so we can write down the cross product formula like this form. Hey, any question? No? Okay. Here are some remarks. If u cross v equals zero, when one of these vector is zero, since if one of these vector is zero, then the area should be zero. Also, if they are parallel, that means the angle is zero or pi, then uh, the er also area is also zero because uh, two vectors forms a line, so there is no area. So in this case, also the area is zero. Okay, so this is some property of the cross product. Here, if R and uh, UV W are vectors and R and S are scalars, then we can easily obtain this formula. And also, if we uh, if we use some property of area, uh, if we calculate area one by one, we can draw the parallelogram divided by u and v plus w, and we compare to them the area of parallelograms divided by u and v, and other pair u and w. Then we can obtain this formula, but this uh, final formula is hard to obtain. Uh, maybe you don't need to remember these formulas. Only you don't need this formula. You only have to remember these five formula for the cross product. But they are quite uh, trivial, except two, because if you change the order of u and v then you get the negative sign of the cross product. Uh, because here is u and v, both two vectors, v cross u and u cross v, both of magnitude of these vectors are the area of the parallelogram defined by u and v, so the magnitude is same. However, the direction is different. If uh, u cross v, the angle direction is here. So the direction of u cross v is here. However, we change the order of u and v, then the angle, direction of angle is different. Starts from v and finish at u. So the direction of v cross u is here. So u cross v and v cross u has the opposite direction and the same magnitude. So we can put the negative sign in here. Okay, any question? No? Uh, now we study how to calculate the cross product by the component form of vectors. Uh, before we discuss about it, cross product is only defined or only in the three dimensional object. We cannot define the cross product in the two dimensional object because we cannot use the right handed rule and uh, some other rules. And also, there is no cross product in four or five dimensional space. Okay. As I know, there is a cross product in seven dimensional space, but we don't have to discuss about it. <laughs> it's very hard. To, okay. I guess so. uh, since we want to obtain the vector value from the cross product, it is hard to define cross product in the two dimensional space. The concept can be. Uh, 
but determine this uh, scalar value. So there are related, but not the same object. Now, now, record that there is uh, three vectors, three unit vectors, i, j, and k. Since we have these rules, four and five, if we define the cross product between these uh, unit vectors, i and j and k, then we can calculate any two vector, any cross products between two vectors, any vectors. Uh, we use the right hand rule to uh, okay, before we discuss about it, uh, we draw X, Y, Z, and here the unit vector I, and here unit vector J, and here's unit vector K. The parallelogram defined by these two unit vectors i and j is here is one zero zero here is one one zero and here is zero one zero and here is zero zero zero. So the area defined by these four vertices is one. Area is one. Okay. Uh, in this case, this square is the parallelogram. And also we use the right-handed rule to get the direction. We begin, the angle begins from the x-axis to the y-axis, then we, can, we get this form. So the direction of i times j, uh, i times j is the uh, positive z direction, z-axis direction. So we get, I times J is K. Number three, here we, we can we, we put this minus sign here. And similarly, we get the cross product of JKI and KIJ. So if you draw I, J, K, I, then cross product between I and J is K, cross product between J and K is I, and Cross product between K and I is J. So be careful. You should put this negative side if the order is changed. And also the two unit vectors, if two unit vectors are same, I and I are parallel. So the area of parallelogram defined by two same vectors should be zero. So this should be zero vector. It should be zero vector. Okay. Any question? Uh, here we have the formula U times V is rank of U, rank of V sine theta times uh, the unit vector n. Yeah, question? Uh, actually, they are same object. If we write down zero vector, then it denotes zero, 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 but we also denote zero vector as zero if there is no confusion. You can also write down the zero vector as zero. Okay, so you know that the ranks of the cross product between U and V is U V sine theta because N is unit vector. This is the simple remark. And now, uh, let me introduce how to calculate the, how to calculate the component form of U cross V. 
Here we, are, we first assume U is defined by U on I, U to J, district K, and V is given as this form. Uh, we put this form into the cross product between U and V. Then we have nine terms because there are three terms and there are three terms, three times three is nine. So we got nine terms from extending this cross product. You should preserve the order of IJK. For example, uh, if you want to multiply U1 term and V2 term, then it, the order should be I times J. Here, I times J. Also, if you want to calculate, if you want to multiply U2J and V1I, then that is U2J and V1I, here J times I, J times I. So we know I times I is zero, J times J is also zero, and K times uh, K cross K also zero. And uh, we know I cross J is K, I cross K is minus J, J cross I is minus K, J cross K is I, and K cross I is J, and K cross J is minus I. So we can obtain this form and uh, as a result. Any question? Uh, yes, this is a parallelogram of uh, here. Where is it? All right, so I explained. Uh, okay. Okay, so we get this formula for the cross product, but it seems uh, hard to remember. So uh, we use the determinant to express the simple form of the cross product. Okay, let me remark the, about the determinant. If you've never learned about this object, that's fine. We only use the formula for determinant, not a property of it. Okay, here we denote three by three matrix. D, E, F, G, H, I. This huge line implies the, it means the determinant of this matrix. And the definition is we should add the product of number like this. Uh, first we add A, E, I, and the next number is here we begin from B, F, and G plus B, F, G plus the other color is C, D, H, C, D, H. Now we subtract this number, this direction of number minus C E G minus H F A minus I D B. So we add three terms and subtract three terms from uh, 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 three, three products uh, from this defined by this entry of matrix. Okay, so this is the definition of the determinant of three by three matrix, but the formula for uh, general matrix, determinant of general N by M matrix is uh, more complicated. Okay. Now let me introduce how to get the simple form of the cross product between two vectors. Here, U and V are here and U is given by U1, U2, U3, and V is V1, V2, V3. 
Then if you calculate the determinant of this metric, here is unifactor i, unifactor j, unifactor k, and here u1, u2, u3, v1, v2, v3. Then this is the formula for the cross product. This is formula for the cross product. Okay, uh, the proof is very simple. If we use the formula of determinant, we add u2 v3i plus this direction u3 v1j plus u1 v2k. And we should subtract these three products by v1 u2 k minus uh, v3 u1 j minus v2 u3 i so we get u2 v3 minus u3 v2 i plus u3 v1 minus u1 v3 j plus u1 v2 minus u1 v uh, u2 v1 k if we compare this formula and uh, and this formula then all of terms are the same because uh, here u2 v3 minus u3 v2 i plus u3 v1 minus u1 v3 j u1 v2 minus u2 v1 k you can just compare each component of vectors to get the to get this result so uh, the conclusion is you don't have to remember this formula only remember the formula of this determinant and the formula of uh, the and this formula then you can calculate the component form of two of the cross product between two vectors very easily okay this is the explanation about that okay now let's let's find this example u cross v is determinant of i j k and the component is 2 1 1 use component is 2 1 1 and the component of v is minus 4 3 1 so we get you can get i there is i and minus 4j plus 6k and this direction minus 3i minus 2j minus minus 4k so we got uh, minus 2i minus 6j plus 10k okay any question so we know the cross product between u and v but we should also calculate v cross u but we know that v cross u is minus u cross v since we know the component form of u cross v so the answer is 2i plus 6j minus 10k okay there is another example We can find a vector which is perpendicular to the plane defined by uh, three points. Let's assume that these three points is, are, are given on like this P, Q, and R. Here P is 1 minus 1, 0 at 
minus r is minus one one two and two is two one minus one so we define two vectors from these three points so here vector u is vector p q and we get one minus uh, one and two and minus one and v is pr get minus two and two and two at the beginning of the lecture i explained if you want to uh, redefine the cross product because you want to find the vector which is perpendicular to both two vectors u and v so if we calculate the cross product u cross v then u cross v will be perpendicular to both u and v okay uh here the determinant of i j k and here one two minus one and minus two 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 and we get four i plus two j plus two k minus uh, plus two i minus two j minus four k uh, plus 4k so this is 6i plus 6k so the answer is 606 so the vector 606 is perpendicular to u and v we can easily check that uh, if we calculate the dot product between this vector and u. u is 6 plus 0 minus 6 should be 0 and uh, minus 2, 2, 2 is minus 12 plus 0 plus 12 is 0. So since this is u cross v, that product u, and this is u cross product v. That v. So we know that this vector 606 is both perpendicular to u and v. So this is u and this is v. So the vector u cross v is perpendicular to both u and v. So this vector u cross v is perpendicular to the triangle defined by PQR. So that's the vector that you want. Any question? Uh, okay, uh, wait a second. Uh, we cannot exchange U and V. Okay, uh, but we know that the dot product between u v and v u can be co committed. So, uh, okay, for so u cross v dot w. So we can we, we define the three dimensional vector from two two three from the three dimensional vector u and v by the cross product, and if we apply dot product between two vector. Since u cross v is also a vector, so uh, we can change the order between two vectors, w and u cross v. However, you cannot you cannot change the order of the uh, this case for the this case. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay let, this is the last example of this lecture. Here the setting is the same. 
here PQR has the same component. However, this problem asks us find the area of the triangle with vertices. In the previous problem, we calculated that the cross product between U and V, here U is PQ and V is PR. We calculate the cross product between U and V. So, and also we discussed that the range of this vector is the area defined by area of the parallelogram defined by U and V. So this is the area. Since you want to calculate the area of P, Q, R, we can expand, we can make a parallelogram by put this W and the area of this parallelogram is the length of 606 and this is square root of six square plus six square and this is six square root two but uh, yeah yeah the here i defined umv as p2 mpr Uh, no, no, no. The area of parallelogram is ranks of U and ranks of V and sine theta, not a dot product. We don't use dot product to define the ranks of it. Okay. And finally, we know that the area of the triangle PQR is the half of the area of this parallelogram. So the area of this area is half of six. Two, so we got three over two. Okay, any question? No, then we can finish this lecture and see you Friday.